Hey there guys, gals, and non-binary pals, Jim Potter here, and today we will be unboxing, oh, and today we will be unboxing the Owl Crate. I just got this in the other day. Uh, pardon my voice, I'm still a little bit sick from a size infection. Um, I finally got a hold of some steroids, so I'm doing much better, but I'm still under the weather. So let's get into it. Um, I went ahead and got the I went ahead and got the subscription. Um, I want to let y'all know I am paying for this with my own money. All opinions are my own. This is not sponsored. This is not affiliated. This is I just like subscription boxes and I like books, so I thought this would be fun to do again. So we have the little card, and it's Courtly Intrigue, July 2020. Okay, we have a. Oh, it's a travel water bottle that is collapsible. It's silicone, and then it says, "Visit the Blood Forest, the Kingdom of Souls, hiking, camping, bloodletting." Which I'm not sure which book this goes to, <laughs> which book this was referencing. And that sounds very interesting. I kind of like that. Kind of spooky, kind of creepy. Very much my aesthetic. Lots of little crinkly wormies. I have a little pouch. It's got little stars and moons on it. It says... Where do you think legends begin, if not from truth? Oh, that's cute. It's a little compact mirror. It slides shut. Very cute. I've been looking, I've been wanting to get a new mirror for my purse, um, because the one I had broke. So, that's awesome. Next we have from the Fiction Bath Company, Queen of Innes, Innes? Handmade fine body mist, sugared oranges, Alcrate. It says it's vegan, which is very nice. I'll, let me see if I can get this open. Um, I'm still a little weak from being sick, but let's see if I can get it open. Oh! The odds are in my favor. So let's do a little spritz and a snip. Oh, that's very nice. Very citrusy. Which, I mean, it's sugared oranges, so it should be citrusy. House Galathimius Goblet Charms, King, Kingdom of Terrison, Owlcrate Explosive. It's in a little pouch. Goblet, goblet Charms? Oh! Those are cute! They're little wine, wine glass markers. So you can tell whose wine glass is who, so you don't, especially in this post COVID world, can I think of it? Uh, post-COVID world, uh, you definitely don't want to be drinking out of somebody else's wine glass, so that's that's exciting. And then this is Literary Luggage, designed 7 of 12, limited edition enamel pin collection, so this is this month's pin. Let's see. Oh, that's cute! I really like that. It's got a little, let's try not to get the glare out of it, a little Taj Mahal. I definitely like that. I love enamel pins. As you can see, well, as you can see on the wall behind me, I've got two little embroidery hoops next to my sewing implements, scissors, rotary cutters, painting shears, uh, little pins. So, and then we have something that's quilted. What is this? Bookish bowl cozy. Oh, I have an aunt that makes these. So what it is, it's a, it's a little quilted trivet that you can put in the microwave with your bowl. So when you pull it out, you have a pot holder on the bowl already, so you don't burn your fingers. I have, a, I have a great aunt that makes these. They're wonderful. They're amazing. She made me one with, I think it's cats. I don't know. The cats have taken it over, and it's now one of their toys. Um, so it's nice to have one that I can actually use for its intended purpose. That's very exciting, so this I'll definitely get a lot of use out of. And then we have the book itself. Um, Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. 
And there's the cover. Let me read you. They have the little Dear Reader. It says, Dear Owl Crate Reader, within these pages the whirlwind of magic and romance, and sometimes hard hard one and not at all what we thought it would be. Falling in love can feel like the end of the world, especially the first time, and Violet's prophecies must just take that literally. I've always loved writing stories about thorny girls like Violet. Growing up, I often related more to the villains and the rivals of the story, the ones who were more practical than brave. Sometimes even wish they could be more li they could be the hero, except they don't know how to be anyone but themselves. Which will Violet be in the end? I hope you enjoy falling for her as she finds her place in her own fairy tale. Happy reading, Gina. That sounds wonderful. I can't wait to read this. Um, I've been reading a lot, uh, because I've been sick, I'm supposed to be at work right now, um, I had a fever until this morning, so obviously I wasn't allowed to go into work, they told me I had to rest and relax, and, well, you can see how well that's going. I don't do good with the whole resting and relaxing and recuperating thing. I never really have, so, sorry for how I look and obviously for how I sound, I just... This came and I wanted to cheer myself up, so here we go. So, the 20, July 2022, Owl, Owl Crate Courtly Intrigue. So, we have the two different covers. This is this is the one, this is the original cover, and then this is the one that we got. And it has a little interview with the author, which is always fun to read. And then Band of Weirdos, interview with the vendor who made the wine charms. Um, they have some recommendations if you enjoyed Violet Made of Thorns. Uh, the Cool Prince by Holly Black. A Course So Dark and Lovely by Bridget uh, Kemmerer, which I've heard of that one. That one's supposed to be really good. And Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. And they have July, Fo July Box Photo Challenge. Uh, prompt one, Owl Crate Unboxing. I guess I'm doing that now. Uh, Violet Made of Thorns Spotlight. Bottle on the Go. Bowl Cozy with a Bowl. Like they, they, it's, it's cute. They have little things for you to get in. And other books coming out this month. We have The Darkening by Sunya Mara. The Witchery by S. Isabel. These Twisted Bonds by Lexi Ryan. Wake the Bones by Elizabeth... Sorry, the writing is very small. Kill Coin Up? I'm probably saying that wrong, but look at it. The, the writing is very small. And I need new glasses. I'm getting my eyes checked on the first, so. Uh, and then Dauntless by Lisa A. Bonham, which is interesting. And then we have a little spoiler card for August, which is Steeped in Folklore, which is exciting. Uh, every August box will include an exclusive illustrated item uh, by Kim Ekdahl. Yes, if you're already a subscriber, your account will automatically renew. Yay! So that's awesome. So that is exciting. Like I said in the last unboxing that I did, um, the ephemera that comes with it doesn't seem to be... It seems more practical and useful things. Uh, although this is a young adult supposedly in a young adult book subscription box and it's coming with wine charms i don't know how many young adults are drinking or how many young adults should be drinking but as someone in my 30s well i can't drink now because i just have gastric sleep um but as someone in my 30s those are definitely something i can get use of or if nothing else i could probably take them off their little their little ring readings and put them on a charm bracelet because those are just too cute So, but yeah, that's the uh, July 2022 Owl Crate. Uh, what did you think? Do you subscribe? Did you end up with the same things? I'm not sure if they do different things for different s subscribers. This is only the second box I've gotten. But tell me down below, um, have you read Violet Made of Thorns or the recommended books? Tell me what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!